Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some, it says HTY Asian Funnel Cake. I have the original. And I have brown sugar. These were $2.99 each at World Market, and Kevin spotted these, and I thought, oh my gosh, funnel cake. We love funnel cake. Mm -hmm. That'll be so much fun. And the so, package has all this carnival-like pictures on it. Ferris wheels and it, bumper yes. cars. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this and let you have it while I'm reading about it, and you can decide how up oh, oh okay i never expected that so there are three individual hunks i did not expect that um well i mean it doesn't tell you that um i thought it was just one big piece so that's a surprise it's softer than it looks too it says the perfect indulgent treat and best kept secret Swirls of crisp yet soft funnel cake are held together with a lightly sweet glaze for a chewy, toasty, totally satisfying delight. Individual, individually wrapped, Tammy. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't read um, our Asian funnel cakes are backpack and lunchbox friendly. You know what? Even though they said individually wrapped, I would have thought this is the individually wrapped. This whole darn thing. I thought, I'm an American. I thought we were going to get to eat the whole thing. Instead, they're little pieces. Um, our Asian fennel cakes are backpack and lunchbox friendly, but light enough that they'll never weigh you down. For over 50 years, and it's the name, Hisson Tung Yang HTY has produced the best snacks in Taiwan. In 1977, our family established HTY to continue tradition of excellence in snacking here in the United States. So this is um, this is uh, made in Taiwan, and it says one piece is 120 calories. Okay, so this is mine. I like the texture of it. it it's I was kind of. Once I kind of held it in my hand, I thought it was going to be kind of like a Rice Krispie treat, but it's not. It's fluffier than that and softer. Yeah. Not a lot of flavor to it, though. It's very, very different. The The flavor, mm -hmm. the texture. The flavor is just like, I don't know, it's just kind of, it's got a little, it's a touch of sweetness to it. It does taste like, like deep fried dough. I mean, a little, it's not really strong like a funnel cake is. No, but it ta it does remind me like of a uh, the flavor of a donut hole. Kind of really light. Though. It's just not as sweet. Yeah, and it's really light flavor. I think the flavor is just really light. Mm hmm. It, it's not bad. I mean, it's not mm -hmm. very exciting either. <laughs> no. No, it's not bad at all. It um, there is sweetness there. How much was this? Two ninety nine. Mm. So you're paying a dollar a piece, basically. Yeah. A dollar per funnel cake. Um, it's not bad. It tastes. It leaves a deep fried like like I've had a donut hole, but it's like they made the donut hole and didn't put any of the glaze on because right. the glaze is the good part. That's the sweetness. That's what it's like. So this is the brown sugar. So I'm assuming this will be sweeter. It's 120 calories for one. Um, the first ingredient is maltose. Mal maltose, wheat flour, palm, sustainable palm oil, egg, sugar. Okay. I do have to say I like the texture. It's kind of got almost a lot of chewiness to it. It's funny. Brown sugar is the last ingredient. Mm. It doesn't take much brown sugar though. It's funny how the dough texture is kind of crunchy on the outside, but then you start chewing it and it just kind of goes away. Yes, it's very, um, it's soft, it's easy to chew. Um, to me, that, I know it, the ingredients say brown sugar, mm. it tastes like molasses. I agree. That has a molasses 100% tastes like molasses, does not taste like brown sugar at all. Um, mm. So, uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know if that's because it's made in Taiwan and the brown sugar just has a different, that's a different flavor. It has a different flavor to it. But if, it, I, absolutely, I would call that molasses. Yeah, so, I think both of these are so, I don't think they're worth $3. Um, I think the flavors are so, so light 
that you're really not getting much for it mm -hmm. uh, for the three dollars you're better off buying rice krispie treats or something something anything else than these because i just don't think these have a lot of flavor they're interesting to try i like the texture and stuff but it's just not not something i want to snack on all the time i do not think the flavor is light in the brown sugar one i mm -hmm. think that molasses is strong it, and it's there for sure but it's still not especially for me i do not like molasses unless it's hidden in right. a recipe that is strong for mm. me and i um it's it's not bad i don't hate it but it's not the one i would go to i would get the if you are interested in these and then i would uh recommend you get the original but you do need to know that there it's very very light on flavor mm -hmm. and it um it's not sweet and it's more of a texture experience than right. it is a flavor experience. Yeah, I agree. Um, but we love trying new things. Yeah, uh, and they're not so, bad. They're yeah. just, just kind of plain. I think the price, it was $3, but we bought these from World Market. World Market is always more expensive, number one. Number two, they have come from Taiwan. Number three, are you going to be able to find these at, at any other store? Probably not. Probably not. I don't know. There is an Asian grocery store we go in. Mm -hmm. They might have these. And Maybe. if we went in there again, we might be like, oh, those are those funnel cakes that we tried. But we've just never noticed them before. No, never seen them before. So if you've had these, if you've had any experience with them, you'll have to let us know what your thoughts are. I bet you they have tons more flavors because you could do every oh, flavor there is in these, it yeah, seems like. And all yeah, stuff. so if you've had them and had a different flavor, you'll have to let us know. Uh, but I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.